Hey guys, what is up? Swimshot20 here. Oh, this is another hockey card trading video. IRL hockey cards, huge passion of mine. If you guys didn't see my last break, link will be down below. Now, I wanted to make a video kind of updating you guys on my PC and kind of showing off what I've been getting. Now, we did get an upgrade in camera, so hopefully that looks a little bit better. But, like I said, I did want to show you guys a couple cards that I got from a couple breaks I was in. Uh, kind of tell you guys about a new break that I'm, I'm in this week that you guys may want to get in. And some cards I've been buying. Alright, first couple cards I'm going to show you guys are from the break that you guys saw live on my channel. Now, I did a video obviously reacting to it. Now, I have the cards in hand. I do want to show them off. Uh, but, Terrier, the guy, my buddy who does all these breaks, is doing another clear-cut break. The link to his Discord will be down below. Hop in. I already got the Hawks. A couple teams remain it is this sunday if you're looking to get into hockey yard trading i highly recommend breaks it's much cheaper than go out and buying boxes especially with the prices the way they are now the last break that he did that i was involved in uh was 15 boxes of clear cut which is uh you guys will see in a second here uh, a couple series two boxes stature a couple things like that so i'll show you guys the smaller hits uh obviously we got a marquee rookie blue border adam boquist obviously not nothing too crazy stature bobby hole and a uh rookie resilience uh kirby doc obviously look it would look a little bit better if it was auto but um still a sweet card nonetheless obviously big kirby doc guy but the big cards that we got out of that break starting with the number to 99 adam boquist embedded endorsements rookie on uh, adam boquist I, obviously i'm a huge fan of boquist uh uh been pcing him before i even was super passionate about cards so uh 90 out of 990 or out of 99 uh again this is one of the clear cut cards that i was talking about it came in this case obviously with the seal here from upper deck but i'm a huge fan of uh clear cut and having a uh, a boquist number 99 is huge but the big pull out of that break the best pull that I think he's ever gotten is this number the 25 bronze embedded endorsements. It may be gold. I don't remember which one it is. Kirby Doc number to 25. That is right. So I don't know, man. I've been looking at uh, Kirby Doc rookie cards for a hot minute. I'm definitely expensive players start trying to PC, but uh, very, very lucky with this pull. This is a card that uh, I'm going to treasure for a long, long time. And to get it uh, in a break with Terry was awesome, man. I mean, can't really get too much better than this. Obviously, this is the second tier. So, uh, obviously, there's the Boquists that are numbered to 99, then to 25, and then there's, like, orange-looking ones that are numbered to three. But, uh, man, I will always take a Kirby Doc Ricky Auto, man. Now, outside of that break, I, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Clear Cut. I actually got a pretty good deal on this uh, Chris Chelios Palladium. As you guys can see there, it's a fully acetate blue ink card there. Sorry, getting used to the new camera angle. There you go. A couple scratches on the the actual case itself obviously the card's fine but I'm, I'm a big chris chelios guy my favorite player of all time obviously chicago boy uh got this for a pretty good deal uh before the break and i thought hey you know what well, worst case scenario i get two of them so kind of going after that break i'll kind of show you guys what cards i've been kind of buying here and there and actually probably my new favorite product all right so we'll start off with a couple cards that are kind of just miscellaneous that i'm super excited about uh, i did get this uh future watch quarter crawford i i I don't quote me on it. I don't think he does have a Young Guns. If I, I may be incorrect once again. Did get his future watch. Obviously not signed. Very excited about that one. Hall of Famer. Now this one. Oh my goodness. I saw this one. This is one of the only Martin Havlat uh, Blackhawks cards I've seen on eBay in a hot minute. Marty Havlat's probably my top five player, favorite Hawks of all time. He was just, he was the superstar before Kane and Taze were there, man. And growing up, he was so fast Mach 9 before he came here man huge martin havlat fan glad i have that and then this is a pretty fun card uh a young guns of eric daze now this this card cost me 30 cents 30 cents on ebay so uh a young gun eric daze obviously probably not a hall of famer super fun to use in hut but uh, another one of my just favorite players growing up he was he was the kind of the star of the show before uh anyone good got there but next i do want to show you guys this thick stack of cards here uh that is right i have every single series two young gun so starting with kevin lankinen obviously length the tank we have brandon hagel very high in brandon hagel very excited for him to uh get some uh uh, rookie auto cards we have ian mitchell very high on ian mitchell as well alec regula also very high on alec regula sucks that he has a practice jersey photo for his young guns but 
uh, obviously it is what it is uh, I do have an Ian Mitchell Young Guns canvas that came with the uh, other Ian Mitchell I got so nice to have his canvas eventually I'll go out and get all their canvases as well uh, we do have Pew Suter obviously super high on him and Mackenzie and Twinsel also very high on him very high on all Hawks prospects but um, having all of those let me grab them from my box over here now don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure I have every single series or 2021 Young Guns obviously we have Philip Kurashev Lucas Carlson, who is now a Florida Panther. Uh, we have Nick Bodine, obviously big Nick Bodine guy here. And then I also have Bodine's uh, Young Guns canvas and Kurashev's canvas as well. So uh, let me know down below. I haven't checked the checklist, to be honest with you, but uh, pretty sure that this entire stack is all of the Hawks uh, young guns from 2021 obviously some canvas cards thrown in there very excited about that now obviously once SBA sir comes comes out uh, OPG plan I'll start collecting those guys again but very happy to have those series uh, series one and two now I'm about to let you guys in on a, uh, a big secret here I have a set that I think is about to blow up not only in price but popularity as well so if you guys don't know in basketball football and baseball the number one rookie card is always the chrome card or the prism card in football and basketball, obviously it's Prism, and then Bowman Chrome uh, first are always the go-to rookie cards in baseball. Even Topps Chrome as well. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. But uh, for whatever reason, the one Chrome Platinum, whatever you want to call it, card has not blown up is OPG Platinum. Now I'm a huge fan of the look of these cards. Uh, this is the red Prism. It is numbered to 199. Uh, but dude, I mean these cards just look phenomenal. Obviously you can see the red Prism there. The base card, basically, I can put one up on screen right now. Um, it's just like a silver metallically look. And now um, I don't have a, a new OPG base card uh, with me. I have some uh, over there. But basically it's literally just the OPG set, but platinum and shiny. Um, there's a bunch of parallels. That's the biggest thing. It's all about the parallels. Uh, like I said, this is numbered to 199, so I have 78 out of 199, but I don't know, man. I think it's insane to think that um, the one type of card that is the most popular in baseball and football is not going to get popular in hockey. Um, so I am stocking up on Kirby Doc, uh, Marky Rookies, and Adam Boquist. Uh, I have... So out of uh, 1920, there is obviously the base. There's rainbow. There's uh, purple haze, purple something. There's a purple one. There's the red prism. There's the rainbow wheel. Like there's so many of these different ones. Arctic freeze is another one. Um, and up until uh, from the purples on, they're all numbered. So um, the best you can get is the golden treasures, which are one of one. I'm going to try and collect the rainbow, man. I think that's the coolest thing you're able to do with some of these cards. I know uh, Phil Hughes, if you guys don't know Phil's polls, he opens out all sports even hockey former pitcher for the Yankees pretty cool channel there but he has a rainbow of uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. and getting something like that would be an absolute dream obviously probably not gonna happen with Kirby Doc uh, his he has a um seismic orange i believe it's called that's number to 50 uh that is around 150 bucks so obviously at this point in time probably not gonna be grabbing that one uh but i've seen his um uh his arctic freezes which are the number to 99 um, i've seen those for around 50 60 so i'm hoping eventually i can find a decent snipe there but i'm telling you guys if you guys are getting into hockey yards i cannot recommend opg platinum enough i think it's gonna blow up now with the hobby getting as popular as it is obviously opg platinum will be coming out probably in the next couple months here i don't really know how much the box are going to be resale right now on 1920 opg platinum is around 150 135 at the lowest i've seen so i don't know man i, I think it's a good box to, to kind of rip if you're looking to invest a little bit and i love these cards man like i said uh, i've bought a bunch of these marquee rookies uh, of doc and boquist and once those get in i'll show you guys those as well but huge fan of these now another one that's pretty similar to that is stature uh this is just a normal alex to bring cat number two one was that 149 uh the green base parallel whatever it is so um another one that may have potential to blow up like that but opg platinum is the closest thing you can get to them obviously um this is just a normal base card but that's another one that may blow up but i mean man look it's starting it's starting to grow quite the collection here like i said man i i i've gotten a huge passion uh for hockey cards and obviously these are just all hawks let alone whatever out of their base cards i have like that from just ripping packs but um, i i'm getting a huge passion for this hobby i cannot wait to continue to share with you guys like i said i will be doing a video on the next break i'm in with terrier it is happening this sunday so expect that video up probably monday or tuesday something like that but either way we may be having more breaks personal breaks coming out uh if you guys missed it i did do i've done a ton of spa 
SPA 1920. Obviously, it's super expensive nowadays. I have a I have a Series 2 box somewhere back here. Uh, but obviously, since I have all the young guns out of Series 2, I don't have a super high desire to rip those. But you never know. We may keep ripping. So hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys want to see more IRL hockey card videos, leave a like down below. Seriously, it does help. Let me know down below who you guys collect, what teams you collect, what players. Maybe I got some stuff I can send out. But either way, boys and girls, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.